I was looking for a quick and dirty way to create watermarks on video for iMovie 09. Everybody is doing watermarks with an alpha channel image. That means a ping image or a GIF image in which you can use uh, transparency. And that does work. However, I wanted to do something that was much quicker and much easier. And I found a little method. This method is limited because you can't stack titles on top of each other. For example, in this video here, I have already have a title. Here's a title. This is a young woman and this identifies her. Now I cannot add a watermark in addition to this title, but I can add a watermark after it anywhere there, there's not a title. So again, it's a limited fix or a limited way to do this. Uh, so let's do it and I'll show you how to do it. And maybe it might be of use to you. And so we're going to go here. We're going to go down to, to titles and I'm going to select the lower one. I want mine in the lower area and I'm going to go up and boom, drop it right on there, drop it on the clip. We're going to adjust the clip afterwards. I'll show you how to do that. First, let's edit this. Now, right here, it does not look like a watermark at all, obviously. So let's go in there. I'm going to put my domain. Okay. Now, let's edit the font. So we're going to select it. We're going to select that. You have to have it selected to edit it and show fonts. Now, the font editor that pops up probably is going to be your iMovie font editor. And that's what this looks like. Um, you cannot use this for this trick. And I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, so let's go to the system font panel. All right, and now we have our system font panel. Here you can do a lot of things. Oh, I have to go back. You might lose your selection. All right. Now here we can change various things with the font. Uh, I want Helvetica New. And yes, I want it bold. I'm going to take down that size a bit because it was a little too intrusive. Okay, so there, now we're starting to get into what it what a real watermark might look like. All right. Yes, I want it bold. And here's where you can also change it to left or the right. So you can change it left, right. I can put it in the middle if you want. I want mine on the on the right. Uh, the outline here. Outline. We got to take that down because it's it, it's going to be too intrusive having it like three pixels or whatever the measuring is one that's a little bit better okay now for the trick that's going to make it look like a watermark now you can't do again you can't do this if you're working in the iMovie font panel we want to go here we're going to you can choose uh, various pickers color pickers uh, all right I'm going to choose the crayon and all right so we got white and here's the trick opacity you can't find that in the iMovie font panel so let's take it down depending on your now depending on your video the bat you know the the, the main content you're going to have to adjust up opacity because it might not show up for example here if i put that at 20 percent, i'm pretty much guaranteed that's not going to show up um done Okay, see, you can't even see that there. So let's change the opacity. Let's select that again. Go back over here, select the font, show fonts. All right, we lost the selection. Uh, there we go. All right, and text color. Let's bump that opacity up to 40%, double it. Okay. I think that's going to work. Done. Done. And let's see. Is that going to be good? So um, we're going around. We're measuring stream flow. Eh, not bad. The other thing you can do here is if you select the title, double click on that up here in your project. Double click on the title and you got your inspector. You can change the time. 
let's change it to five seconds. And here you can change the, how it fades in or out. And again, you can adjust the where you want it, lower, upper. We're going to keep it on lower. So we're going to cancel that. And done. Okay, that's your tutorial on how to do a quick and dirty watermark using iMovie 09. Thanks for watching.